I'd like to ask Her Excellency, uh, Caitlin Jones, the Deputy Ambassador to the United Kingdom, to uh, greet the audience and open the conference. Um, so it's a particular pleasure for me to be here today opening this town planning conference. I have a personal interest in town planning stemming from the fact that I come from a place in the UK that is an exemplary a town, a new town which was planned um, post-war um, in the new style and the town is called Milton Keynes. Um, Milton Keynes, as many of you experts will know, was the largest of the new towns in the UK and it was a major step forward in post-war planning. Today, Milton Keynes ha is a progressive town, home to about 250,000 people, and it's characterized <clears throat> by large amounts of green space and a grid system of roads with, I would pick out, this is as a user what I see, um, for me, what I like about Milton Keynes is the fact that the roads are aligned with bushes and trees which hide the buildings <laughs> behind. But it's beautifully planned so that um, the users, the customers, the people who live in the city um, have a pleasant atmosphere. So I love it and um, I'm a bit of an evangelist for Milton Keynes and for good town planning because I see the results in Milton Keynes. I should add that Milton Keynes has just celebrated its 50th birthday, which is quite some achievement. So happy birthday to Milton Keynes. The town can also boast some groundbreaking achievements. Um, so it was um, a groundbreaker in energy efficient housing. And the system, the index, which was developed in Milton Keynes, later became the national home energy rating in the UK and it formed the basis of the calculations behind the energy performance certificate that is required everywhere across the UK. Um, and this issue is today one of the top issues on the agenda of the EU in this area. So may I draw a lesson um, from this from Milton Keynes that um, with British planning expertise and government backing, which is very important, a sustainable, livable space can be created with modern homes, practical workplaces, and lots of green space. Our government has um, announced um, an extension of the um, new towns system, um, which is a garden villages um, extension, Garden Villages program, which are smaller versions of the new towns such as Milton Keynes. And I'm looking forward to seeing that program develop. So the new town program of the government in the UK has led to British expertise in this area being shared across the world. And it has earned the British town planning profession a reputation for their expertise. No pressure, um, British colleagues. Um, but I am really proud that the Royal Town, town Planning Institute and other colleagues from Britain were able to travel here today to exchange with you, um, to share expertise, to learn from Hungary and um, hopefully so that Hungary can learn from some of our experience. And I hope that this is the beginning of a long collaboration um, which will form the foundation of a future relationship for us both to benefit from. Um, our government is um, shortly publishing a white paper, a housing white paper, which will um, address the whole issue of housing in the UK and sweep up all the government initiatives into one single document. This is a quick advert for that. If, if anybody has an interest in that, I'm sure that we can share it with you. Um, once it's been published, please do let us know at the embassy. So let me just sum up by saying, um, Thank you very much for inviting me and our British colleagues to this conference today. I hope that um, our contribution will be a valuable one. 
that the documents which have been translated into Hungarian, uh, I think at Roland's initiative, will be valuable to you all. That's quite some achievement. And I hope that this is the start of many productive collaborations to come. Thank you very much indeed.